Hello everyone and welcome to a new Dungeon Defenders 2 video. Today we start to cover the different maps of the game and start with, our surprise, the very first map, the Gates of Dragonfall. We will first look at the regular version of the map and then the incursion version of it. The map, being the first of the game, is rather simple. There are only three lanes of enemies and one objective to protect. The three lanes come from the same side and merge in front of the gates of Dragonfall. The left lane has only one turn and is fairly wide. For this reason, it is not the best lane to place traps, but auras can be useful. Towers can be placed on the side thanks to uphill positions outside of the path. In addition, this lane has a very long straight line towards the end perfectly suited to place long-range towers to deal with the remaining enemies. The middle lane starts from the very northeast of the map next to the third lane but from a lower point. After a small straight line, a short turn goes under a bridge and then lead to the final long straight line towards the objective to defend. This lane is rather thin all along so traps can be very effective and easy to set up. The first part of the lane is hard to protect with towers even though you could place them on the bridge. On the other hand, the last part of the lane being a long straight line, you can put towers to take care of the enemies. The third and last lane is the shortest and has a very similar shape to the second. It starts from a higher point than the second with a turn right after the enemy's spawn point, point leading to a long thin straight line. Again. Traps can be placed easily and towers are harder to set up at the beginning of the lane, whereas the end of the lane is a perfect place because of the length of the straight line. To summarize, the Gates of Dragonfall is a very easy map to defend thanks to all the lanes having a very long straight line towards the end, leading to the objective point. On top of that, the small size of the map makes it easy to quickly move around and help your defenses. The incursion version of the map is actually rather simple and straightforward too. The rules are the same as on regular defense maps, you have to defeat all the waves of enemies. The difference is that waves tend to be denser with one lane having a lot of explosive cobbles. Overall, you can build like you would usually do on the defense version of the map, just stay aware of which lane contains which enemies and be more active than usual on the repairing because of how dense the waves are. The last particular point of this incursion map is its boss on the last wave. The boss called Griblock appears rather early on during the last wave and not at the very end so be careful and take care of him quickly when he appears. Griblock is a fast melee enemy that can be threatening if your defenses are not strong enough. That's it for today's video, thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to click the like button under the video and to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section below and stay tuned for more Dungeon Defenders 2 videos. Until then, goodbye and have a very good day.